Hi everyone, Jason from Bodyworks Physio, here today to go through some tips and techniques to work on tennis elbow or golfer's elbow. So tennis and golfer's elbow are old terms that we used to use uh, when describing pain in through the elbow. Now, a lot of people get confused and say, oh, I've got tennis elbow, but I don't even play tennis. And that's really common. It doesn't have to come on from tennis or golf. Tennis and golfer's elbow, it starts as an inflammation in the tendons often. So like a tendonitis when it's very acute, so when it first happens. And what happens is they get inflamed from overuse or from a really traumatic event to start with and they just don't settle down afterwards. So it's usually from something like uh, repetitive typing, lifting, doing, you know, washing three cars. I've seen a patient has had that before where they've just washed three big cars all in a row. Um, if you go to repaint your house, if you do a big job cleaning, so anything where you're gripping and repeatedly doing a movement multiple times can irritate the tendons in through. The outside part we usually call tennis elbow and the inside part golfer's elbow. But the actual terms for them we would say lateral, lateral epicondylopathy and medial epicondylopathy or epicondylalgia. So opathy just means inflammation and degeneration Alger means pain, so they're just Latin terms that they we use medically. So it can also happen with golf and tennis, so I'm not saying it doesn't happen with golf and tennis, but it's often the main patients we treat are actually from repetitive workplace situations or repetitive home tasks. So the first thing we do when we're treating these conditions is we want to settle down the inflammation. As physiotherapists, we treat this with a mix of hands-on treatment, including dry needling, massage, ultrasound. We can also sometimes recommend that you speak with your pharmacist about anti-inflammatories, such as uh, Biclofen, which Voltaren 25 is the brand name for it, um, but an anti-inflammatory to help settle down the inflammation, as well as some icing at home in the acute stage. You can also use things like dynamic taping or counter strain braces, to help take some of the pressure off the tendon. In addition to that, we'll get you going with some exercises and stretches at home, and that's what I wanna go through today. All your hands-on work in your actual treatment, you really do need to see a good physiotherapist to get your help with that. So the stretches we're doing today are just a little bit of self-help you can do to start with. So our first stretch is for our lateral epicondylopathy. So we're gonna put our fist hand into a gentle fist, and just pull that slowly down until we feel a stretch in through the top part of our muscle here. We're gonna hold that for about 20 to 30 seconds. Once we've done that, we relax. Now, for the inside part of the arm, it's just the opposite. We just gently take our hand up and pull it backwards. And we should want to feel a stretch down through the bottom part of our forearm there. Once again, holding that for 20 to 30 seconds. Now, usually you'll only get it one side or the other, you can get it both sides at the time, but most of the time, it's either the inside or outside of your arm. So focus the stretch on whichever side is the painful side. So if it's on the outside, you're gonna take your hand down. If it's on the inside, you're gonna pull it up, okay? So those are the two main stretches you would do. Once the pain and inflammation has started to settle, your physiotherapist will tell you when it's time to start doing strengthening exercise. And these are really key, important parts of your program. It doesn't matter if you settle down the inflammation, if you don't re-strengthen the tendon afterwards, what you'll find is it'll be going fine for a few weeks and then it'll just flare up again. So you really have to continue that program right through to the end and make sure you get a good result long term, not just settle down the initial part of the pain. So to start on strengthening this, we can use a few options. Here's a TheraBand I prepared earlier. So to start with, you can sit there with a the TheraBand and you're just going to gently go out like that. Now we usually like to say we focus on an eccentric portion of this. So you can help it out with the other hand, let it relax by itself. Help it out, let it relax. Our more advanced stretch exercises with the TheraBand are doing rotations with the wrist, as well as the other way. I've just swapped hands there because otherwise I'd have to spin around away from the camera. Our other exercise that we use, we don't necessarily use the foam roller, it's just a useful tool because I'm sitting on the floor to do this video. And so you could usually do this over the bench, over like a desk or a kitchen counter. Um, so we've got a little hand weight, and I've just got a little 1.5 kilo here. 
And what you're going to do, once again, it's an eccentric exercise. So we want to help the wrist up, let it go down by itself. Help the wrist up, let it down by itself. So that's for our outside elbow issue, so our lateral epicondylopathy. If we want to work on the inside, we simply flip our hand over and we help it up, let it down by itself. And with this one, I like to, as you can see, get the fingers to roll all the way out. And then we help it up, let it roll all the way down. Help it up, let it roll all the way down. The next advanced stage with that that you can add in is also then to add in towel wringing. So this is good because everyone has towels at home. I hope you do. Um, hands on a towel and you're just wringing out that way and then wringing back the other way. So that's a good treatment technique or a good exercise to work on strengthening because you're having to grip something which uses both those muscles as well as then turn, which then focuses on one more than the other. So as I said, the stages with this condition are you're going to see your physiotherapist and get the pain and inflammation settled down. And that may be a, with a range of hands-on treatment, with uh, pharmacological products like anti-inflammatories and painkillers, strapping, taping, bracing to help unload that tendon. You may also need to change your workplace tasks to avoid aggravating it at that time. And then you're going to start onto your stretching, strengthening program to make sure that you rehab that tendon properly. As I said, you've got to go right through that continuum from settling it down to getting it stretched to then strengthening back up. Otherwise, you'll notice that it will recur again. I hope this has helped you. If you're having any problems with elbows, give us a call on 49527033 and one of my therapists at Newcastle, Corlett Curry, will be able to help you out. Thanks and have a great day.